Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to get notified. Okay, now we are going to start up with the new unit thermal physics. Thermal is nothing but heat. Okay, so how we will get an heat without temperature we cannot analyze the heat, right? So it depends upon the temperature. See, temperature has a property that determines the direction of flow of heat. As it determining the direction, the temperature is said to be the scale or quantity. In physics, we usually used to measure everything by using the SI unit, right? So, the SI unit of temperature is Kelvin. Temperature can also be measured by other two common unit which is nothing but degree Celsius and a degree Fahrenheit. I have drawn and show you the difference between the Kelvin scale, Celsius scale and the Fahrenheit scale. All differ with the values, right? See, here the starting point for the Kelvin is 0, absolute 0, whereas if you see in Celsius it is minus 273. In Fahrenheit, it is minus 460. See, when water freezes, the value in Kelvin scale is 273, whereas in Celsius, it is 0, 0 degree. And for Fahrenheit, it is 32 degree. In Kelvin scale, the water boils at 373, whereas in Celsius, 100. And for Fahrenheit, it is 212. I have written the formula here. See, if you have to find the Kelvin, if they have given the value of the Celsius, you have to add plus 273 with the value of the Celsius, you will get the value of the Kelvin, right? That is the difference, 273, right? And if they have given the value in Fahrenheit, you have to find the value of Kelvin. The formula is F plus 460 into 5 by 9. The 5 by 9 has come from, see, here you can see 0 and this is 100. So, the difference is 100. And here, 32, 212. If you subtract, you will get the value as 180. So, if you divide 100 by 180, if you simplify this, you will get the answer as 5 by 9. So, I am multiplying 5 by 9 with this so that you will get the value of the Kelvin. This is 0 Kelvin. For 0 Kelvin, what is the value of the degree Celsius? It is minus 273 degree Celsius. Okay, now we are going to see the next topic, thermal equilibrium. We are going to see the next topic, thermal equilibrium. See, you consider two bodies. If they are same in their temperature, then it is said to be that the bodies are in thermal equilibrium. You can understand from the word equally, equally in the sense the temperature of the both the body should be same. Then that is said to be thermal equilibrium. Okay. I will give you an example. You consider two body. One is cold body. See this is cold and this is hot body. I am inserting the hot body inside the cold body. What will happen? Some heat energy is transferred from the hot body to the cold body. This process in the sense the transfer of heat from the hot body to the cold body will continue until both the body will attain the same temperature. If both the body attains the same temperature then we can say that they are in thermal equilibrium. Now we are going to see thermal energy okay and again I am going to consider the two bodies one is hot body and one is cold body. Here you can see the arrow mark here the arrow mark is facing upward and in the cold body the arrow mark is facing downward right in the sense. From the hot body, the flow of energy has been transferred from here to the environment. Here, the flow of energy is from the environment to the cold body. So, this is said to be the thermal energy. When a hot object is in contact with the cold object, a form of energy that flows 
from the hot object this is known as the thermal energy i will give you one more example for the thermal energy you consider a cup of tea a cup of tea will be hot right so the flow of energy from the tea to the environment okay i will question you one thing the temperature of the tea will be hot as time goes the temperature of the tea will reduce am i right so the cup of tea will reduce in temperature it will never heat up this is an very good example that the temperature will flow from the higher to the lower temperature